Loading instructions for the Softec HD Preloaded Injector PLI. Remove the seal from the non-sterile outer tray and hand to the operating assistant, making sure that the inner tray remains sterile. Partly peel back the foil lid attached to the inner tray and empty out half of the saline. Fully retract the foil and remove the PLI from the inner tray with the red nest facing down. Slide the tip fully into its housing, making sure that the V shape is pointing down. Holding the PLI on the shaft and near the body, but not touching the body, remove the red nest in a single straight movement. Try not to wiggle the nest loose as this may affect the position of the lens and loading mechanism. The PLI is now ready to activate the loading mechanism. The most important issue is to make sure that the loading tab is pressed firmly, swiftly, and with even pressure. There are a number of ways to achieve this depending on the size and strength of your fingers. Holding the tip away from you, place your index fingers under the body with both of your thumbs on the loading tab. At this point, press firmly so that the tab is fully flush against the PLI body. Place the PLI with the loading tab facing upwards on the sterile table and using both thumbs press the tab firmly. Place the PLI on the sterile table with the loading tab facing down and press firmly on the PLI body. Whichever works for you. Either of these three methods is fine. When you have pressed the loading tab into place, check that it sits flush against the PLI body without any gaps. If you find any gaps, repeat one of the three ways again and recheck to see if it is in the correct position. Place the tip in the saline until the injector is ready to use. Surgeon, before entering the incision but under the microscope, depress the plunger until the lens and white cushion come into view in the tip. Rotate the injector 360 degrees to confirm that no part of the trailing haptic is trapped under the cushion. If any part of the haptic is caught under the cushion, then fully retract the plunger and then swiftly advance it again until it reaches the lens. If it hasn't released the haptic, repeat the process until it does so, making sure that you fully retract the plunger. If you are happy that the lens is correct, you are ready to inject. With this system, you can safely inject the lens into the eye in one smooth push of the plunger.